Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Robinson, Chief Academic Officer for East Baton Rouge Parish School System, Louisiana. Well, I hope that you had an awesome and most wonderful break. Hopefully you made time for you and only you. Uh, please always remember, me time is vital. We're now in the testing season. This would be a great time to use Dreambox, which should be a minimum of five lessons per week and achieve 3,000, which must be a minimum of three articles per week with 75% accuracy on the first try. So we can do this because we have a goal of 150 for Lexile. Progress reports go home on Tuesday, April 25th, 2023. Please, once again, ensure that you're putting in two grades per week. Greetings. My name is Robert Garcia for the Exceptional Student Services Updates. We are still in the month of April, the Autism Acceptance Month. Please strengthen the use of evidence-based practices for students with autism, including social stories, reinforcements, priming, and vi visual scheduling for predictability. These strategies will help students maximize their experience in the classroom. We are excited to announce that Insights to Behavior now have a bus category in the behavior section. There are also several bus strategies for interventions. Please connect with your behavior strategists for details. Additionally, the department will be conducting the IDEA self-monitoring audit of all IEP services and documentation. Please make sure that IEP folders are updated and all documentation of services are filed. Finally, the department will host a unified sporting event dubbed as the EBR Young Athletes event for our pre-K students with disabilities and their non-disabled peers. Participants will include students assigned to pre-K best classes from different schools. This opportunity was afforded to us through a grant awarded to the district by the Special Olympics Unified Champion Schools. The event will be held at South Downs Pre-K Center on Wednesday, May the 3rd, 2023, from 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. As always, should you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact your ISS or 929-8600. Thank you. Buenos dias. Welcome back and happy spring as we get ready to finish strong with our school year. As we prepare for state testing, please note that we must continue to support our English learners through student-specific support needs. High language acquisition ELs should be utilizing the same skills and support as traditional students. Medium to low English acquisition ELs can use a variety of supports both in and out of the traditional classrooms. An ESL class can continue to support in preparation of reading and writing by utilizing content-specific language. This can be found in our literacy curriculum-based flows for all grade levels, found in our DOA weekly updates and on our website. Please also keep in mind the specific accommodations of ELs based on their plans as testing grows nearer. A reminder for our K through fifth grade elementary schools to please continue to utilize Amira Learning through the week. All ELs should be using Amira for three to five days a week for 15 to 20 minutes each session. This data is constantly being updated and supported and please reach out to our district coaches for any assistance needed. Finally, as we continue to serve our students, please see the information for the upcoming ESL Summer Enrichment Program. Flyers and registration forms are now available. If you have any question in regards to the summer program, feel free to contact Ms. Anita Harlow, 225-922-5471 or aharlow at ebrschools.org. Please see our 2023 ESL Summer Enrichment Program flyer and registration form links to pass on to ELs and their parents. You can email Ms. Harlow for the specific links in both English and Spanish, as well as the links for the printed registration and the online registration. Thank you all 
for all the hard work that you're constantly doing to help all our students in East Baton Rouge Parish School System. I hope you have a great week. Muchas gracias por todo. Greetings from the East Baton Rouge Parish School Science Department. Our science teacher of the week is Ms. Crystal Briscoe, fourth grade teacher at Broadmoor Elementary. Even with a large combined class, she keeps her students engaged and immersed in their Amplify lessons. Teachers, in the coming weeks, be on the lookout for our 2023-2024 curriculum documents. Biology teachers, you may be experiencing some changes in your sequencing for the 23-24 Inquiry Hub lessons. This was put to a vote amongst all biology teachers in the district in March. Thank you for your wide range of experience and expertise in this collective decision. Have a great week and thank you for all that you do for the students of East Baton Rouge Parish Schools. Greetings EBR. I hope you had an opportunity to relax, refresh, and reset during the spring break. We want to thank you again for all of your support with the district-wide Poetry Slam and Spelling Bee events. We have amazing students, teachers, and staff members in our district. As we continue to gear up for testing, we know it is important to ensure all students are ready for this major task. Be sure to provide motivational messages each day. Let students know how proud you are of them and how they can conquer any questions or questions given to them. You can also ask parents to send you an index card to help encourage your students. Remember, we are all in this together. Please don't forget about our 2025 Leap Writing Bliss and Achieve 3000 Smarty Ants Challenge. Teachers are also able to sign up for Achieve 3000's April Micro Sessions through the WAG or on the ELA Lesson Plan site. Every day is an opportunity to continue to push for the stars. If you need any support, you can reach out to us during our virtual office hours on Wednesdays from 2.30 to 4.30, or contact myself, Dana Williams, at ebrschools.org, or Kodia Green Gradney at kgreen4 at ebrschools.org. And as always, thank you for everything that you do. Good afternoon, EBR. I'm Justin Robichaud with your math updates. ANET Interim 3 has wrapped up and now our focus turns to digging through the data and making informed decisions on reteaching and individualized instruction. Please make sure to visit our math resources website for standards-based data on Interim 3. In Dreambox, we have 31 buildings that average over five lessons per week in the month of March. In fact, the month of March was our highest month of Dreambox usage this school year. Our district closed the month by averaging 5.3 lessons per student per week and 79 minutes per student. Belfair led the way with an average of 10.8 lessons per student per week, followed by Cedar Crest with 8.7 and Bernard Terrace with 8.4. Also hitting the eight lessons per week threshold was Villa Del Rey. And as we inch closer to LEAP testing, we also wanted to remind schools and teachers to continue taking our end of module assessments through Illuminate. These assessments will provide additional data sets and question stems that will prepare students for the LEAP assessment. And as always, thanks for everything that you do to make EBR a great place to learn and work. Have a great day. Greetings from the Social Studies content team. And this week, the final units of instruction should either be underway are closing. For grades 6 through 12, Unit 5 should be completing. The unit assessment is currently available. Post spring break, all grades should be in Unit 6 if there is a Unit 6. Please begin to review end of year projects to complete after the assessment window closes. Visit our website regarding updates on the revised standards, professional learning, as well as the DBQ summer professional development. Slots are filling quickly. LSU has opened a learning opportunity for high school teachers. There is one scheduled for Thursday, April 6th at 7 p.m. via Zoom and two additional dates on April 20th and 21st. Please go to our site for details. Our calendar will host the Eventbrite registration link. 
Hello everyone from the Division of Academics, Teacher Effectiveness. My name is Chanel Dove, and I am, well, I'm just having a great week. I hope that you guys are having a great week as well. Um, just want to say thank you to all my mentor teachers and mentees who um, joined us throughout the year for our professional development. We were very excited that you guys stayed after school in order to participate. Many of you were able to take away some instructional things to put in your tool belt for this year and also for next year. We did many of our professional development around small group instruction to show you what it looks like at each content area. Also, we did differentiated instruction. A lot of our teachers were excited about seeing the choice boards. Um, also, um, our last uh, professional development we did with our teachers, they learned how to give one, get one. Also, how to do the jigsaw method as well as um, participating in Socratic seminars. So we were super excited that everyone had the opportunity uh, to stay. We got some wonderful feedback from our teachers and thank you for all of that. It gives us an idea as to how and what direction we want to go in next year as it relates to professional development. And just want to say based upon your input and your reflection pieces that we have received throughout the year, it has definitely guided our department in making sure that our professional developments are more intentional for each um, level of teaching experience that is in our district. So um, therefore, we're super excited about what's coming up for the fall semester. So just stay tuned and we want to say thank you once again for everyone that participated. Don't forget that uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to contact either myself or Ms. May. So my email is sbranch at ebrschools.org or tmay at ebrschools.org. We look forward to hearing from you and have an awesome week. As always, thank you for allowing us in your schools, in your offices, and in your classrooms each week. Make it a marvelous week on purpose.